Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Vargas and today we're gonna do a look using the 42 matte by Beauty Bay. Only cost $25 and it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna start off by taking the shade Purple Power and I'm just using a Morphe flat shader brush to pat that on my outer eye area. And as you guys can see, this shade is very vibrant, very pigmented definitely worth the money like i said next shade we're going to take is called pacific dreams and i'm just using the same morphe brush i'm going to start by patting that a little bit over the first shade also putting it on the center of the lid and as you guys can see this is another very vibrant pigmented shade then the next shade we're going to take is called slice of lime it's definitely one of my favorite shades in the palette it's kind of like this neonish greenish shade and i'm just going to use um that shade and pat it on my inner corner kind of blending it in into the specific dream shade so going back in with the purple power shade um i did switch my brush so i'm using a more fluffier one and I'm just going to start blending out the harsh line. So I'm going to start off with the purple power shade. Kind of just blend it out and then move on to the specific dream and then the slice of lime. So I wanted to darken up the outer corner so I was going to take Grape Escape and Stormy Night to do that but there's something about Stormy Night that doesn't work for me. It's just not there. The pigment is not for me. It doesn't work. So what I did is I took the black shade called Illicit and I just used the black shade to kind of smoke it out. So going back in with purple power, I'm just going to blend out the black a little bit using that shade and kind of making sure that the black shade didn't take over the purple shade. Then I'm just going to go ahead and you guys know the drill, cut my crease and I'm using the e.l.f. medium sand. I use this in all of my videos so I think I'm going to just stop saying it. But yeah, going in with my go-tos. Then I kind of like to use a clean brush just to pat down the concealer and kind of smudge out the harsh line there so it won't be as hard to blend out once I put a shade down. Going back in with the illicit shade, we're just going to re-intensify the outer corner and also use it to blend it into the cut crease so like i said there won't be any harsh lines going then i'm also taking the purple power shade and putting that at the end of our cut crease
then I went ahead and did the other eye off camera and now I am switching palettes because I thought this would look nice with the pop of pink so I'm taking the take me back to Brazil palette and using the first shade there which is a nice kind of soft kind of um not too light but not too dark kind of pink and I just wanted to see how it would look there was many shades that I could have used but there was something about putting a pink that kind of um intrigued me so I decided to go with that so I'm just gonna pat that down on our cut crease back in with the purple power shade like i said we're just gonna blend it in between kind of the black and the pink just to get like a little gradient effect and i feel like the pink is too harsh anyways to go with the black so it has to be kind of like that middle color to try to make it go smoothly as possible Taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in a golden beige, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my face. And I did already prime my face. I used the Maybelline Master Stick in Translucent. So it's just really good with um, hiding pores. And then I'm taking my Morphe Kabuki brush and I'm just going to use that brush to blend out the foundation. Taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Bisque, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my face. So I'm just going to put the concealer under my eye, my nose, my forehead, and maybe some of my chin. Then I'm just going to take a Real Techniques foundation brush to blend that out. Going back in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer, I think this one's in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I'm just going to use that to kind of warm up my face. And I'm just going to use the same foundation brush to blend that out. So I'm just going to clean this up really quick and I'm just going to use the concealer to 
kind of um, help me carve out what I just did. And for powder, we're taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Translucent. And today we are going to bake. We're not gonna um, set our face. No, no, no. We are just going to go full on baking today. So I'm using a Morphe brush. Wait, a Morphe sponge to do that. Then I'm just going to take a beige cosmetics brush just to dust that away. So taking the black shade from the palette called Illicit, I'm just going to use that and run it on my bottom lash line. I want to keep this shade as close to the waterline as possible. So taking the shade Purple Power, I'm just going to blend it a little bit over the Illicit shade. And then we're just going to take the slice of lime shade and that's just going to go in our inner corner. I'm taking this shade from the Daisy Marquez palette just to highlight my brow bone. You can go ahead and use your favorite highlighter for this. Then I took the Essence Silk Touch blush in the shade Baby Doll and that's just going to add a little bit of color to our cheeks. Then I'm just going to take my NYX Cosmetic Setting Spray just to set my face. And for highlighter, I am taking the Milani one. I don't remember the name to save my life, but I will leave it down in the description bar. And I'm just using my highlighter brush from the It's My Ray Ray collection. And then that will complete the finished look. I did do lashes and lips off camera just because my phone ended up dying. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and please leave any comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.